Hey Fight Night fans, I'm Christina Dibo and welcome to this week's edition of the Nightly Review on the Lynn Sports Network. Lynn Sports are in full swing, with some postseason coming and other regular seasons beginning. So let's see what all of this week's excitement is about. First off, big time congratulations to the men's soccer squad as the Fighting Knights brought home their fifth Sunshine State Conference title this weekend after winning two straight matches in a row. This tournament title puts Lynn tied at the top with Rollins for the most in the conference. The second title victory of the season did not come easy as the blue and white put up two difficult fights to pull this off. The first victory of the weekend came behind the effort of midfielder Tomer Britton who notched his first career multi-goal game to give Lynn the 2-1 win over the Ecker Tritons, sending the team to the title match. Finally, it came to the big showdown between Tampa and Lynn, with this going all the way to the end of regulation with the score locked at 0-0. The match came down to penalty kicks, in which Adam Hutchinson secured the SSC tournament title with the final PK to give the Fighting Knights the 5-3 edge. Appropriately, Hutchinson was named the most outstanding player and his teammates Jack Watson, Alexander Roth, Tom Britton, and Nicholas Tasky were honored with a spot on the SSC All-Tournament team. The men will host Tampa for the third meeting of the season as the top seed in the NCAA D2 South Region Tournament Saturday afternoon at 1 o'clock. With two more victories this week, the volleyball team is continuing to push for a postseason berth, winning four of its last five games on the hardwood. The first victory this week came on Friday night when the Fighting Knights swept Florida Southern, not only 3 to nothing in the game, but also on its season. The 3 to nothing sweep came behind a double-double performance from Christina Llorenz, who put up 10 kills and 14 digs on the afternoon. The ladies in the blue and white suited up the next day with a home match against the Ecker Tritons and came out victorious yet again by a score of 3 to 1, behind a season-high performance in kills by Morgan Delaney, who managed 16 on the afternoon. The women will look to continue their winning ways as they host St. Leo this Friday at 7 p.m. Men's basketball hit the road with a matchup with nationally ranked D1 opponent NC State this past Thursday night for a final test and tune-up before the regular season begins. But the blue and white fell to the talented Wolfpack 100-66. Newcomer Terrell Rogers made his presence known as he led the team in scoring 18 points while Kevin O'Brien was the only other fighting knight with double-digit points recording 12, thanks to four threes on the night. The men's team will tip off the regular season this Saturday, November 12th, as they host Florida Memorial at 7 p.m. Women's basketball held their exhibition at home on Sunday afternoon, hosting Kaiser University, but falling to the Seahawks by a score of 75-67. to The ladies in the backcourt, Shantae Tucker, Brakia Henderson, and Paola Vasquez, put in double-digit points on the afternoon, led by Tucker with 13. The Fighting Knights will tip off the regular season with an appearance in the PBA Tip-Off Classic, featuring matchups with non-conference opponents Auburn Montgomery Friday night and PR Rio Piedras on Saturday. Both games begin at 5.30 p.m. For the first time in the program's short history, the Lynn Women's Cross Country Program competed as a team at a NCAA South Regional, placing 16th on Saturday morning in St. Leo, Florida. Tally Carmignani once again paced the Fighting Knights, coming in 41st out of 122 runners. We were able to catch up with Coach Chris Wood and Carmignani after the race. We did really well. Um, I went around and pretty much it was freshman year for everybody, myself included, just as an assistant coach, and every runner here pretty much just finished their first year of collegiate cross country. You know, Meadow is, is an upperclassman, but her first healthy season, making it all the way through. So just to be here as a team, was a huge success for us and you know we weren't last we did really well we held our own um yeah i couldn't ask for anything more running my second 6k ever was uh really tough but i mean i kind of liked it i love the fact that i was so different from uh, my first 6k uh, i mean every race in the cross country is so different finally women's tennis seniors diana bagoli and rosalie willig continue to put lynn university in the national spotlight as the squad won their opening round match on Thursday at the ITA National Indoor Championships. In the draw, featuring Lynn and 19 of the top NCAA Division I teams across the country, the dynamic duo pulled out a straight set victory in the first round before falling to the number one team in D1 North Carolina Tar Heels. The ladies will not return to the court until February 4th as they start the spring taking on Flagler. That will do it for this week's edition of the Nightly Review. Remember to log on to LynnFightingNights.com for all of your blue and white info and stay connected by following at Lynn underscore Knights on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching this week and keep Lynning.